check these gaming mice, they're exactly what you need. You can find their links in the description below. So, the 5 best wireless gaming mice of all prices in 2022. And coming up in number 5, Razer Basilic X Hyper Speed. The best bang for buck wireless gaming mouse. Razer is doing a hell of an amazing job with its inventions. Damn! They're always leading the way for all their competitors, especially with this option. Now imagine, this mouse costs around 35 bucks. Meanwhile, all other 35 buck mice are helping gamers with tripping, stuttering and choking. But not the Basilic X. As the most bought wireless mouse, this mouse literally has it all. With its 5G advanced optical sensor, this mouse gets an IPS of 400. Now look bro, there's some terminology that you are going to need to know. But don't worry, I got your back. I will quickly explain them as we pass by them. So, 400 IPS, is it any good? Yes bro, it's awesome. IPS basically means inches per second. And that means, how fast can your mouse move and still track its data? Your mouse can only process so much information at a time. And if you move hella fast to get those 360 shots, the mouse will lose some information which will make it less accurate. This is even more important when you have mouse acceleration turned off, which I'm sure you do. So, at 35 pounds, most mice have 200 to 300 IPS, and the top tier mice have between 400 and 650 IPS. And as said earlier, this one has 400. So basically, what it means is your aim is gonna get better, my friend. And you know what? The main question you are gonna have is what about latency or lag? Before, I used to worry about it as well. Like, if it's wireless, it's gonna take longer for the mouse to get the input into the PC, you know? And no one likes delay, right? Well, don't worry about it, bro. The mice I have chosen all have extremely fast connection speeds, especially with the Razer mice. Razer Hyperspeed Wireless Technology, it's 25% faster than any other wireless mice out there. The way they did it is thanks to their ultra-fast radio frequency switching, while somehow drawing less energy as well. The way it works is crazy. The mouse is constantly tracking all available frequency channels and switching between them flawlessly to avoid any other devices which will cause delay. And its battery? It lasts up to 450 hours on Bluetooth or 285 hours on hyperspeed. This mouse uses AA batteries and if you use the mouse for around 5 hours a day, the battery will survive around 2 months. Overall, this mouse has around 99.4% tracking accuracy thanks to the 5G sensor and goes up to 16,000 dpi. Now, I gotta bust a myth for you before we keep going. A myth about DPI. If you notice, all the companies are trying to get crazy high DPI on their mice. Like 16,000 and 20,000. But in reality, this number is not so important. DPI means dots per inch. And as long as you have a DPI that is as high as your screen resolution, then no need to worry there. Nevertheless, all the mice included in this list have good enough DPIs for you not to worry about it. Oh, and one more thing. A lot of mice talk about their max acceleration accuracy, where they say it is 40G or 50G. Well, tests have been done on this topic, and the fastest speed a human arm can move at is around 15 to 20 Gs. Any more than that is getting kinda useless. This mouse is 40G, so it's above the minimum, which is great. And the last two points about this mouse are polling rate and mouse clicks. As for polling rate, it is measured in hertz, and any mouse with a rate less than 125 hertz is going to get you a lot of delay. Polling rate is how many times your mouse refreshes per second. At 125 hertz, it means it refreshes 125 times per second, or once per 8 milliseconds. There's also 250 hertz, 500, 1000, and even 8000 hertz. The most important rule is that your mouse refresh rate should definitely be higher than your screen refresh rate. If your screen has a 240 FPS, then your mouse should at least be 240 as well. But evidence shows that higher polling rates are producing even more accuracy, and this is backed up by gamers. 
Sadly, there is currently no wireless mouse that has an 8000 polling rate, but this mouse plays at 1000 Hz, so one time per millisecond, which is damn fast man. It weighs 83 grams, which is on the low side, which is a good thing. And finally, the number of clicks. The company tells you it survives around 50 million clicks, which sounds awesome, but what does that even mean? I went and tracked my left mouse clicks for one hour of pretty intense gaming and I got 1600 clicks. If you play 5 hours a day and every day in one year you will click 2.9 million clicks. So if it survives 50 million clicks then it means that your mouse will hypothetically survive 17 years. Of course you're most likely to want to get an even better one in less than around 5 years. But yeah. It's nice to have a mouse that will never break on you. Well, if you're not crazy at least. Oh yeah, the mouse has 6 buttons which is around the perfect amount for any shooting games. But might not be enough for other MMO and MMORPG games. If you need more buttons then number 4 is going to be your go to option. The Red Dragon M913 Impact Elite Wireless Gaming Mouse. Man, look at all those buttons, damn, 16 buttons, you are gonna macro and keep buying the hell out of your game, all with good accuracy. So the sensor on this mouse is a Pixar 3336 gaming sensor at around 16,000 dpi, 400 ips and 40 gs of mouse acceleration, which will definitely be enough for MMO and MMORPG games. And you know what? The polling rate goes up to 1000 Hz as well, and that's important to be the guy to hit the faster reaction trigger in the fight. As for the aesthetics, well, Red Dragon did a supreme job. I really like that the side buttons are not all on the even level. This way your fingers will be able to know where they are without looking at the mouse all the time. And the RGB lights can be played with to your satisfaction. More colors, different colors or no colors, totally up to you. Battery life on this mouse is around 45 hours or up to 85 in economy mode because this one doesn't have a AA battery inside it, it survives less than the other option. But at the same time, instead you just plug it in for 4 hours and it's on max charge again. And finally the number of clicks. This mouse survives half the amount of clicks compared to the last option. 20 million clicks. Assuming the same calculations as before, your mouse will survive around 7 years. 35 bucks? Man, my bro here, he thinks we're all rich. He wants me to spend 35 bucks on a mouse. Man, my parents are gonna kill me. You don't have any parents like me, they're gonna kill me. Dang yeah, man, I thought 35 bucks was on the cheaper side. But don't worry, I got one that's perfect. It's like 20 to 25 bucks. Cheaper than 35 bucks? Yeah. Coming up, number three is the best, cheapest wireless mouse you can find the Uhuru Wireless Gaming Mouse. Let's see what this mouse has in check, shall we? DPI, 10,000 DPI. Check. Color optimizable? Check. Price under 25? Check. Number of buttons? 6? Check. Looking good so far. But what about the number of clicks? Aha, that is 8 million. So it will survive around two and a half years, so not check. And battery? Well, it's reasonable because it has a rechargeable AA battery. And also because once it's rowing low, you can directly plug your mouse in to a charger and still use it. And that takes around only 30 minutes to charge apparently. So that's good and all, but what about the important stuff? What about IPS and polling rate? Well, sadly the IPS is unknown, but it's most likely around the 150 to 200 range. Polling rate is not so bad for the price either, goes up to 250 hertz. So yeah bro, you can definitely gain with this cheap mouse. Coming up in number 2 is the best Logitech wireless gaming mouse, the G903 Lightspeed wireless gaming mouse. It looks really cool and it performs too. Do you want to headshot at the speed of light? Are you looking for 360 million degree headshots? 
Well, with this mouse at 25,600 DPI, that's exactly what you're gonna be doing. Maybe by luck, cause he definitely ain't controlling that much DPI. I mean, look, here I have 20,000 DPI. Look at how much I move my mouse and how many 360s I'm doing. Anyways, forget DPI, don't worry, you can set it at a reasonable speed. But this mouse is fire, because it's better than all the options listed so far, but also a little more expensive. One of Logitech's known features is its wheel scroll, which can either be like a normal wheel or like a Ferrari. It can come in handy sometimes, but what's important about this mouse is this optical sensor, reliability of its wireless connection, its battery life, and number of clicks. So what's good about it is everything. The optical sensor uses a Hero 25K chip they created, which gets the mouse to 400 IPS and 40G acceleration, but with less standard deviations, or basically, less amount of errors at these numbers. If I were to give my opinion, I would say that the Logitech Hero 25K chip is the second best chip currently available, and has zero smoothing, zero unwanted filtering, and zero acceleration. The best chip will come up in number one. So yeah, polling rate goes to 1000 Hz, which is the highest available option for wireless mice. And battery life is insane at 140 hours with no need for batteries, and still it recharges quickly. If you want even more, you can get a Logitech mouse pad which directly charges the mouse without ever connecting it, which means infinite battery life. It comes with 11 buttons and you can control the RGB lights like crazy. And finally comes number one, the best Razer and best wireless mouse available, the Razer Viper Ultimate Hyper Speed. What stands out most about this mouse is one, connection speed, two, optical sensors, and three, fixing a mouse debounce delay problem. Now, for the connection speed, as the Basilic X Hyperspeed, Razer Viper Ultimate does the same thing, where it finds the fastest connections to be used. And there's more, the optical sensors of this mouse will give you aimbot, you will never miss. At 99.6% accuracy, this is the most accurate mouse available in the market. And of course, it's gonna have 650 IPS, of course. 50G? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And what about that mouse debounce delay thing I was talking about? Well, check this out. This is how every other mouse works. They do it like this, so that when you click on the mouse, it only registers one click instead of more. But this causes delay. However, Razer Ultimate does this, making it even faster and reducing delay time even further. And one would think that that's already epic. But Razer decided, no bro, I need more. So, it got a 1000 Hz polling rate and still managed to get the mouse to only weigh 74 grams, which is really close to the weight of a real, actual mouse. Your arms are never gonna get tired. Your shoulders are gonna be pain free forever, even if you play 12 hours a day. Look at how many professionals use this mouse. This mouse is also a tank. It survives harsh conditions and 60 million clicks, making it the longest lasting in the list at around 21 freaking years. Naturally, the best gaming mouse will also have infinite RGB lights and a good battery, which lasts 70 hours and charges in a couple of hours. So, if you miss your shot with the Uhuru mouse, it's okay, it's not your fault, it's the mouse's fault. If you miss with the Basilic, then it's no one's fault, just bad luck really. But if you miss with the Razer Ultimate, it's for sure your fault bro. Or maybe it's your ping, I don't know. So, those are the top dog mice that will probably stay so for around 2-3 to three more years. And GG, well played, have a nice day.